Oh, out here, horse space engineers, and uh, we've been getting attacked by orcs. <laughs> oh, this is the second one. So uh, yeah, it's been a little bit hectic. So we'll talk about what's going on. Uh, there will be a time lapse of the original, well, the first one, when we uh, actually ended up taking some damage to the ship. But first, we have to get started. So let's go. So, happy Wednesday, everybody. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day and a terrific week. <laughs> um, well, that's not good. <laughs> that would be our original base. We may have to uh, go take a look at that. It looks like base has been destroyed. Alright, uh, we're going to respawn here. Let's see if Bob grabbed our parts. I really hope Bob grabbed our parts. Oh... Uh, I'm gonna drop all that off over there. Come on, Bob. Hey, look at that. Bob grabbed our stuff. That's always good. Hey, and we'll grab those back. All right. So, uh, yeah, like I said, we basically had orcs start showing up. Uh, they are pretty brutal. They, I'm not gonna lie, they been causing me nothing but grief at this point um, so the first attack and you'll you'll see it eventually I think uh, why is oh because I am not matching speed there we go uh, yeah so the first attack basically took out this portion of the, the ship um, they do like when they get they take enough damage they'll try to do a suicide ram and I forgot about the suicide ram so yeah all right, let's get this. Let's get ourselves a little bit closer here, since we have started drifting away. Oh no! Well, it looks like we are actually okay. Okay. So let's go see here. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of the ship left, of the orc ship left, when I uh, got over here. Um, we just kept doing strafing runs with everything and we have gone through i want to say probably close to 100 of them the like 300 or so missiles that we had on board um yeah so it's been an interesting day all right so what this means long term is not only are the orcs now definitely in play um we're also going to have to start worrying about the pcu cap so what i'm going to do we had been talking about it, um, at, if you remember on Monday's video, we had recovered one of the old encounter ships, the, uh, the Raven. And I think what we're going to do is, I think I've pretty much decided to go ahead and break it down for parts. Mainly because of the fact that the ship itself adds a lot of PCU. Oh, heavy armor, nice. Um, while not really offering us much in the way of functionality. So the, the, the effort to retrofit it into something useful, I think is just really not there. So, and I think having those parts available uh, make more sense, especially because of the fact that we have so many of the, uh, the ion thrusters on it. It'll be nice to basically be able to break those, break those down and uh, use them for uh, um, platinum. That's what I was trying to remember. <laughs> All right. So I think, hi. Those would be the random parts or the ship. I'm not sure which. Let's see. I think it's the parts. Yeah. So when they. When the bits hit the shield, does a little bit of damage. Alright, I think. Let's help Bob out here a little bit. Because I definitely want to start. Hi! 
breaking some of this stuff down. Basically, just making it easy for Bob to pick this stuff up, of course. Um, part of the reason is, is I'm trying to grab those grids, and I'm hoping Bob's going to pick most of those up. So, especially for the heavy armor stuff. Alright, so there's a little bit more of this. That's the nice thing about the orcs, they have a heavy armor. The, uh, the shields have definitely saved the ship more than once. A couple of the passes that we did were kind of suicide passes. And yeah. So, but, you know, I'm not quite sure how long that time lapse is going to last. It should only be a couple minutes. It was only, I think the entire encounter from start to finish was maybe 15 minutes. So, yeah, wasn't too bad. All right. Okay, then that's light armor. This is all light armor. I think we got all of the heavy armor out of this thing. Oh, oh. There's some more. See, it's like random pieces of it are heavy armor and some of it's light armor. The uh, design logic. I know, we shouldn't try and figure out Orc's design logic, right? Uh, not, like I said, I'm not overly concerned at this point. Just wondering if there's any more heavy armor in here. It's all light armor. Oh, I saw heavy armor. Any... That's light, that's light. Yeah, see? It's like... Just this, like, random... Like, oh, here's a heavy armor block. For no reason than other than to have it there. Alright, All right, I think that's enough of the... Bobs and Bits gathering. Um... That's going to have a bunch of heavy armor on it as well, but I'm not going to worry about that. Alright, so let's go ahead. Oh, come on. Thank you. I can close that up. We're going to set you to not depressurize. Go ahead and drop all this stuff off. And I want... Oh, uh, there's some there. Refinery has some in it. And you've got some. Okay. So, reactor, reactor, reactor. Okay, and I don't know, we're just gonna drop like 20 in each of these or something like that. Uh, let's go 25. Actually, 20 and drop the rest there. Yes, okay. All right, so now we can tell this thing to stop. We're gonna head back to our base. Hopefully, oh, that's right. I wanted to get more RC or yeah, RCS gyros online. Oh, uh, let me see here. Let's turn that off. We're gonna grab a couple of plates. I don't know where the hell we're gonna throw these things. Um. Oh crap! All right. You depressurize again. <laughs> Oh, because of all the ice we've been gathering. Alright. Uh, let's get that off. Um, the other thing that we lost is we actually, when the, the first encounter, 
we ended up losing the O2 generator, uh, these two thrusters, the conveyor junction blocks under them, the conveyor junction block behind this thing, and the ore detector. Um, that was one of the things that I forgot to put on here. I got to put this back on. Uh, let's see here. What do I need for that? Construction components. Alright. Cool. There we go. Look at that. Alright. So we'll have to let Bob work on that stuff. Uh, oh, you know what? I think I had a cap or something on this side too, didn't I? Maybe it was a spotlight or something? Huh. Well, that's not good. Alright. So let's see if we can tuck a gyro in there. So we'll have them face backwards. And that was some armor in there that we had before that we don't have now. But that's okay. Drop you there. I think we're going to head and... But yeah, when the first engagement happened, um, I think my shields were coming online. They weren't actually like fully online yet. So yeah, it was it was bad. <laughs> I, I I panicked. Oh right. Okay, so we are going to need to head back. Let's see. Did we lose any of our? Um, no, we didn't. Nice. I was I was pretty sure we were going to lose some of like the neons or something. That's got the vent there. Do we still have the vent over here? We do. Okay. Just making sure that we still have everything that we we really need on the ship. All right. Okay. So we have all of that sorted out. Close you off. Go ahead and close you guys down. No sense burning O2 if we don't need to be. There we go. All right. So we're going to swing this. Actually, how do you handle now? Yeah, you're turning much better. Okay. I could probably use another, uh, another two. Hey, military escort. is our there it is 15 kilometers wow we really drifted away okay um let's see here what are you what were you tied to i don't know what you were tied to you're the grappling or the, you're the merge you're the turrets what are you Oh, that was the order detector. Okay. And our order detector needs to be boosted in range. There you go. And then. Alright. So now we're going to jump. It's jump drive two, is the one we want. Uh, we want. Below this, below the solar array. Um, I want to make sure. Okay, hopefully that's right. You are jump drive. Ah, should have checked. Okay. All right. So 
So, now that we know that the orcs are actually in the game and, uh... That's Mayday. Alright. But yeah, now that we know that the orcs are actually in game and in play... Uh, yeah, we're gonna have... We have to really work on getting our, our ship out and about, and that looks like we have somebody just kind of hanging outside our base there. <laughs> well, why do we have somebody hanging outside our base there? Oh, you know why? That's one of those, that was like the, um, one of the survey exploration guys. Alright, so what we're going to do is figure out what angle are we coming in at. We are coming in at from below, relative. That's the Mayday. Yeah, so there's the first workship. To give you an idea how close that thing got, that got way too close to our base. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> So let's get this thing. The ship reminds me of something now. I don't I don't know what it is, but there there's something that it reminds me of design-wise. Hmm. Like there's a sci-fi show that, that that it reminds me of something. Oh hello. That would have been bad. Alright. Okay, so one of the things I need to do is we're gonna need to replace the mergeless block with a uh, connector. Alright. Wrong direction. There we are. Alright. Uh, it should be somewhere around this area. I look at that. So yes, we're going to have to Square this up just a little bit, and then before we mer actually um, engage the merge, that's pretty close. Uh, that. So before we engage the merge, uh, actually, because I didn't pressurize the hangar, so all right, that's fine. We picked up a whole lot of ice. I'm not entirely too worried about it, but... Nope, not collector. I want... Yeah, I want a coin star. Um... Hashtag no spawn. <laughs> there we go. We want you. We choose you, Pikachu. There we go. Alright. Oh, right. You are the... Oh, uh, no, we want this to be, I don't know, what are we going to call this? There we go, how about that? And we are going to set strength down to zero, obviously. Just making sure we don't have anybody else coming in because I really, really don't want to deal with more orcs right this second. Alright. So we need to do two things. We need to have the controller set the shields down. And then the reason for that is so that we can uh, dock. That was almost perfect. 
Look at that. Boop. There we go. Okay, so we are going to set those off. We're going to turn on collection. Oh, hello. <laughs> turn those off in the middle of combat, apparently. All right. Okay, so I think that's everything docked up, right? Okay, so before we go too far, I'm going to close this up. Just so we can get to the hangar. I didn't get a chance to take a look to make sure that the ship was okay. Um, like I said, we lost a little bit of stuff in here, but it looks like, no, it looks like it was actually okay. That's good. Wait a minute, why are you... Right, whatever. Let's see. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this up. Just because we can. Alright. Okay, so yeah, like I said, we're going to go ahead and break Raven down here, unfortunately. I do like this ship. And I'm going to be really sad to do this. Um, mainly because of the fact that... You know, I talked to a couple of you about this. I really, really like this ship. This has been... This is one of the ships that whenever I've been able to capture it in the past, um, I almost always do something with it. And the fact that I am not th doing anything with it this time... I have, I have to tell you, it's kind of killing my soul a little bit. But we have we have hostile orcs on patrol now, and I really cannot afford to have the uh, the PCU count on this because the more PCU we have in the save, the for us globally, the bigger the orc evasion is going to be, and that's uh, that's a bad thing. All right. Okay, that's just a mayday. I'm not worried about the maydays. I'm only worried about you guys. Okay. And then we're going to sneak ourselves in here. And have you guys start pulling this. Pull the big equipment out. I don't think there's anything in the refinery, right? No. That would have been awesome if it was. Could you imagine? Uh, your assembler, you have nothing. Right. You have nothing there. We're going to pull the conveyors out. I don't think there's anything in this grid, is there? Nope. Okay. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just going through uh, prioritizing some of the stuff for for grinding. Bob is usually pretty good about it, but not always. So I want to make sure that we we get the important stuff out, like the gyros and you know the stuff that's expensive to replace. Uh, we'll head over here. Keep an eye on our uh, heads up to make sure that we're. Not expecting more orcs. Oh, hello. I forgot about that. Main engines have a repair kit on them. And you don't have anything in yours, so... There we go. Alright, so that should get us most of the stuff, I think. Alright, so let's take a look really quick. I'm gonna... Oh, I still have more stuff to paint. Okay. Uh, what I'll probably do is um, offload the stuff that's on the ship. On oh, there, our little escape vehicle over there. And... Um, pull some of that stuff out. All 
There you go. Uh, basically, just be able to move, you know, the the ship over. Since we've got the the three mini bobs and then two regular bobs on board. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. All right. Um, yeah, let's <laughs> let's fix that, shall we? Uh, I don't have any steel plates. I have interior plates. I have a I have a single interior plate. All right. So if you guys are hosed, all right. So let's go. I'll grab a couple of you and a couple of you. Right, so let's get this situation resolved first. All right, and I want you to be conveyors. Thank you. How are you guys doing for ammo? Okay, you still have plenty of ammo. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Is that a new... That is a new. <laughs> we had a second crater hit. Interesting. Okay, made a. All right, so let's get the last few of you guys painted up. I thought I painted you. Just not. All right. And you are not painted either. Okay. And what about you guys? Nope. Get the last few of these in. Alright. I think I still need to paint the ones on this side as well. Yep, I do. Okay. And like I said, basically for these, it's really just getting the thruster components out of them. Um, mainly because of the fact that we can break those down for platinum as well as some of the other components in here. Look at that. Oh, Bob, you're doing me proud, buddy. All right. There you go. And there. Now, I want to have come down here. One of the things I never under... Well, I can't say I never understood. I don't understand in the current iteration is, you know, the double med base. I mean, I, I get it. The whole point of this ship was that everything was mirrored from port to starboard, um, mainly for the balance on it, but at the same time, that also allowed you to have a lot of functionality in the ship. Hey, look, you've actually got charge. Are you, are you actually pulling a charge off of something? Oh, all right. Cool. Get the last couple of these guys painted up here. All right, and that should be most of this. Okay. So let's go ahead and get our ship over here. Um, that will allow us to break the rest of this thing down. We'll probably break the entire ship down. I don't think any of this is heavy though. I think this is all just light armor. Let's see, it's using the old skin texture, so... No, it's all regular, just light armor. Okay. Before we forget, this stuff is going to come out. That stuff is going to come out. And you are all on a separate grid, so I should be able to do that. And... yeah, okay. So we'll break... let's go ahead and get the other ship over here. We'll break that down. Oh, and we'll... See what we still need to do. Okay, all of our 
You guys are still in one piece. That's good. You guys are in one piece. Everything over here is still working. Okay. And you. Get out of there. Let's go ahead and get some of this off of our hot bar. Oh, yeah, let's close this up. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check and see... Close that. <laughs> and we will go ahead and deal with that. So I'll need to put uh, I'm going to have to put the merge list blocks on for that. All right. Okay, so we want, actually, before I do anything else, I'm going to get everything out of my inventory and drop all that off, right? We want... Can we get this over here? No, this is all... On the base, that's asteroid, that's asteroid. Okay, so the asteroid actually has a bunch of stuff that I want. So let's go ahead and grab this. The assembler picks some stuff up. Yeah, missile turret, small reactor, refinery, missiles. Okay, so yeah, we're basically just trying to con uh, consolidate everything into our uh, main cargo here so we can get an idea of what our mass is looking like. Why does that sound like we lost power somewhere? Okay, you all good. Hmm. Maybe I'm just getting jumpy. Let's see, we, that's all the hangar stuff again. That's hangar. Uh, let's see. Refinery is fine. Reactor is fine. Uh, we want 127 of those to come over. And so basically with all the stuff we've been looting, We've just been getting so much material. Oh, uh, yeah, we're just trying to keep it all sorted out because as it is right now, we're just over half a cargo load. All right, that's actually pretty good. So if we do that, so we're going to tell, actually, I'm going to take a look at our tank first. You're at 93, you're at 61, 61, 93. And obviously you're at 100. Okay. So we're going to turn off that. Uh, we'll leave Bob on. We're going to turn those on and we're going to disconnect. All right. So let's get let's get the ship over there. Uh, while Bob, well I should say while the Bobs, the 
like five of them that we have between us and the little shuttle that we're carrying around. Um, they're going to work on this stuff. And while they're working on this stuff, what I'm going to do is see if we can find a couple of places to throw like two more um, gyros on this thing. And I'm thinking on the air tank, on the oxygen tanks, right, up, right in front of the um, reactors, the two small reactors that we have. All right. So let's get ourselves into position. We're going to actually use our escape ship as a um, kind of a shield, I guess. All right. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to have our defense shield up because we're way too close to this thing. Actually, no, we can because they're the same faction. It ignores such right. I forgot. Oh. I think we can bring this up. We can. So the the shield mod has the ability you can set your shields to ignore friendlies, um, which keeps you from having situations where you have to drop shields in order to bring sh other ships aboard. Uh, but it also opens you up to some uh, pretty dangerous PvP stuff. If somebody was to capture a friendly ship, you can actually pilot that ship through the shield. So. Keep that in mind <laughs> if you decide to use this mod. Alright, so you're there. That actually allows us to pull a little bit of power too. That's awesome. Okay. Alright, so while we're here, we're looking for we need steel plates. Um I actually don't need many. Okay. And you know what? I'm gonna try. We're going to try using the actual airlock, because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And I haven't really played around with it too much since we uh, relocated everything. Alright. Oh, you know what I could do? I could put it... See, I was thinking I could put a gyro... Oh, let's get those back on the grid. Uh, there we go. I was thinking that I could put one, like, here. Um, but I think that would break that line up too much, and I think I kind of want to have it here. Because I'm not going to be able to put it there because of these, uh, the neon tubes that we put in. Which is why I have to put them this way. Alright, and we'll put one there. I mean, I could even, I can it actually, can I sneak one in there? I can sneak one. I could sneak one right here. Look at that. Oh, well, that was the. Is that our solar panels? No. Ah, that freaked me out. I thought there was an orc ship coming in. Ah. All right. <laughs> so it's nice to see the hostile AI is actually showing up now. Um, and I have to say, when you are out and about. Just flying around, the uh, the neon tubes look really good on things. I really like the way that those came out. Look at that. That's just awesome. Alright. Okay, so uh, Bob's are taking this stuff apart for us. Total eclipse of the asteroid here. Um, I am probably going to go ahead and call this one here. I was kind of hoping that, well, I don't want to say I was hoping more orcs would show up, but what's going to happen is I'm going to stop recording because you know, we're going to we're going to call the episode here. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to throw those down in the section below. But right now what we're doing is we're just cleaning up things and breaking this guy down slowly but surely. Once we get the major parts off, um, all of the big pieces that I want to make sure that I'm saving, like the thrusters, I'm going to paint the rest of this thing pink 
and we'll have Bob just break down all of the blocks as well. But yeah, I'm basically just trying to do this in a controlled fashion so we don't lose components. Um, normally I would just paint the whole thing pink and be done with it. But when I do that, we start tending to have things like, you know, thrusters drift away because Bob decides, oh, that's fine, I'd rather go grab this armor block instead. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get out of here. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated, especially with everything going on in the world today. You know, it's uh, it doesn't cost you anything, and it uh, makes my day a little bit brighter. So. <laughs> Did we not get an asteroid or a meteor warning? I don't think we got a meteor warning. Huh. Interesting. All right. Well, you guys can keep doing what you're doing. Uh, all right. On that note, we're out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Enjoy the rest of your week. And we will see you back here next time for more Space Engineers. As always, folks, take care and... Be safe out there, everybody. There's all sorts of stuff out here that needs to get picked up. We still have stuff in here to clean up. Make sure the base hasn't been compromised, because... Actually, I should fly out here and check, too. 